co-main event. You see that Romero has the height and the reach advantage, but Cruz is two years the junior. Rules for the bout. No three knockdown rule, no steady neck cut. You're not to be saved by the bell in any round. Only the referee can stop the fight. The fight is official after four rounds have been completed. Accidental foul, injury stoppage. Before the end of the fourth round, no decision. After the end of the fourth round, we go to the scorecards for a technical decision. When Isaac Cruz fights, don't blink. Well, Matias Romero proved to be superior from a technical boxing standpoint. We're about to find out. With the official introductions, here is Jim. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Mohegan Sun Arena, Premier Boxing Champions presents our next attraction in the ring. Once again, brought to you by TGB Promotions and Showtime. This bout is sanctioned by the WBA, the President, Gilberto Jesus Mendoza, and our judges scoring from ringside from Connecticut, Glenn Feldman. From New York, Kevin Morgan. And from New Jersey, Steve Weisfeld. Introducing a referee in charge, he'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Harvey Dock. All right, fans, here we go with the co-main event of the evening, a battle of young lightweight stars in a WBA lightweight world title eliminator. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue and white trunks, fighting out of Miami, Florida, by way of Cordoba, Argentina. He weighed in at 134 and three quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with a record of 24 wins, no losses, eight wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight making his US Showtime and PBC debut. Here is the undefeated WBA number six ranked lightweight world contender introducing the undefeated Matias Romero. His opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with gold trim, hailing from Mexico City, La Ciudad de Mexico. He weighed in at already 134 pounds, unbeaten in his last five years. His record stands at 20 wins, one loss and one draw, with 15 wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing the explosive WBA number four ranked lightweight world contender, here is Isak Pitbull Cruz. And once again, a referee in charge, now to give instructions, Harvey Dock. Okay, boxes, you received your instructions earlier. As a reminder, obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Toco los guantes, buena suerte. Harvey Dock, a referee in charge, you see that Isak Cruz already warmed up. There is Matias Romero making his U.S. debut. This is an eliminator fight in the WBA at the lightweight division. We're underway. One fight, quick finish. Immediately, Cruz going on the attack. Nicknamed the Pitbull for a reason. He's been undefeated for five years. Cruz going right after Romero. Well, if you're Romero, you got to get the respect of Cruz and hit him and land something significant to keep him off you. Because I'll tell you that Cruz can keep up this frenetic pace in this matchup. Cruz going right after Romero. There's a left hook that by Isaac Cruz. A left hook to the body by Cruz. Doubling over was Romero. He didn't like that too much. We heard that here. Cruz looking to get underneath and close the distance against Romero. There's a big right hand there by Isaac Cruz. He's closing the distance is Isaac Cruz. And you see that Romero is wisely tying up against Cruz to try to throw off his rhythm. That's a smart move. But at some point, he's going to have to do something 
to keep Cruz off him. There's a left hook to the body. A vicious body punch by Cruz, and that's exactly what he did to Diego Magdaleno. Now, granted, Romero has lasted longer than what Magdaleno did. But still, he's literally ducking underneath, attacking the body, looking for big power shots, almost like he's hitting the heavy back as he's on Cruz. Harvey Dock warning Romero about holding. Entering with the jam as we have under a minute to go here in our first round. Again, Romero trying to tie up with. Wait, listen to this. You too. Wait, listen to the command. Harvey Doc telling both gentlemen, when I tell you to break, I want you to break. And no holding. That was a big shot there by Cruz. Romero, I don't think realizes the kind of, or didn't realize the kind of explosiveness that Cruz has, which is why he's trying to tie up. There's a left hook to the body, and he's you know, trying to do something to disrupt the rhythm of Isaac Cruz. There's a left hook to the body by Isaac Cruz. Cruz going on the offensive. It has been uh, not the... Uh, most the technical first round, but it was entertaining nonetheless. Hey, Rev, watch your skate, please. Listen, I want you to enter in with the uh, left hook, go to the body and then come upstairs. Thank you. His left hand. Listen. Do all your work in the center of the ring. Everyone, you know what? A very good instruction by Herman Caicedo in the sense that you do not want to put your back on the ropes against somebody like Isaac Cruz. Use the center of the ring, use your jab, keep your distance, throw the right hands to try to keep Cruz at bay. That's exactly what Romero's trying to do, but the key is can he keep up at that pace? Because Cruz has one particular gear, and that's just full of pressure. There's a left hook that missed, and again, Romero isn't used to this kind of pressure. And it's his most difficult no. opponent, which is why he's trying to tie up. Set, 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 oh, set, there's set. a takedown. No knockdown. Uh, that's a different you sport. You're holding. thinking more MMA. Stop holding. But that was an inside the takedown, an inside trip takedown by Matias Romero. I wonder if Romero has some wrestling training because it's a pretty nice little takedown there with boxing. Bueno, bueno, bueno. There's a right hand that connected by Isaac Cruz. There go. Now. Harvey Dock will step in between them. them to work out of the break. Over a minute has elapsed here in the second round. There's a nice right hand that connected by Cruz. Cruz just continues to move forward and looking to cut off the ring to unload upon Romero. There's a left hook connecting by Cruz. There's a one-two there by Romero, the undefeated Argentinian, the right hand that connected. Again, they're wrestling. Are we done? Steps between the two as we approach a minute to go here in the second. It's going to be one of those difficult fights to referee if you're hardly done. I hope he brought his track shoes out because I believe he's going to have to be in the middle of this one quite a bit. There's a nice jab by Romero. Entering in there is Cruz. But it's a lot of holding that we're seeing by Romero. He holds Cruz. And it could be a sign that he doesn't want to deal with the power and the aggression 
of Cruz. <laughs> Stop, stop. Harvey Doc warning both about leading with the head. There's a jab ball by the right hand. There's a left hook that connected. Snapping back the head of Romero as the second round draws to a close. Both of you, watch the heads. Both of you. As earlier in the round, he saw a takedown coming by way of Matias Romero. As here we see, they both are wrestling for position and then a takedown there as he got in the half guard of Isaac Cruz. But at the end of the round, a left hook, boom, a left hook right below the belt line by Isaac Cruz. Not intentional though, at least below the belt. Round number three, this one is scheduled for 12. Keep him up, keep him up. Body by Isaac Cruz. Cruz coming forward. Cruz unloading upon the body of one Romero. In the corners is telling fight about the one two. They're telling Romero use the one two. The jab ball by the right hand. Cruz looking to close the distance here. Break. Well, there's a shot below the belt. Don't pull his head down. Don't pull his head down. By Keep Harvey Dock warning Romero stop, stop, stop. that time, he is time. pushing his head down. Time being called. Stay there, about stay there, third stay or there. fourth one. That one hurts. You can't pull his head down. Let me know when you're ready. You ready? Okay, so you can't pull his head down. That leads to low blows. Stay off his head. Time in. Well, the one thing that Cruz is, the reason why, or a contributing factor to why he's hitting below the belt is because Romero's pushing the head down of Cruz. Round three, this one's going to be There's a left hook to the body, and left hook there by Cruz. Cruz going on the offensive. Cruz tagged with Romero, and Cruz is very much in seek and destroy mode right now. And he is looking to close the distance and tying up is Romero. I don't know of many fighters, well, at least outside of the top 10, who can deal with the kind of pressure that Isaac Cruz throws at him. He is like a little tank that just keeps coming forward and is all pressure and loves to throw hooks to the body. I mean, you know, it's one thing to land the shot on the chin, it's another one to connect upon the body. I've talked to many prize fighters and they say that the worst shot to take is a body shot. Under a minute left here in the third. On and away on the body is Isaac Cruz. There's a couple of hooks. Sit back. Jeff all by the right hand. He's on Cruz looking to close the distance here. Step back, step back. Romero might be trying to get Cruz to tire himself up by disrupting his rhythm and holding him. But Romero uses his jab and pops him with the right hand. And Cruz is to be undeterred with this pressure as the end of the third draws to a close.
Go back and take a look at some of the action. Here's the low blow right there, but pushing the head down was Romero. And that momentarily halted the action from referee Harvey Dock. Entonces, escucha, debes, escucha. debes de trabajar en la izquierda a los costados, papi. Te está cachando todos los ganchos. Todo lo que trabajamos lo estás haciendo. Necesito que trabajes los ganchos a los costados para que lo vayas bajando inside. y lo vayas parando. Poco a you poco, cuando uno ya se va a caer. Pero haz caso. ¿va? Listen to me. Necesito que trabajes esa izquierda. ¡Pum! ¡Pum! No Watch pares. Muévete, muévete. ¡Pum! 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 until he holds you. So they want Isaac Cruz to throw to the body even before Romero is holding. So they're aware of what Romero's tactics are. They're telling Cruz to throw to the body, get on the inside, shorten up your shots, and attack the body. Cruz unloading upon Romero, and Romero holding again. There's a left hook to the body by Cruz. Cruz going right after Romero, but Romero just tying up, holding. He's not doing much offensively as Romero. It's more so from a defensive philosophy. There's a left hook to the body by Romero. Nice left hook upstairs by Cruz, and then he attacks the body of Romero. Isaac Cruz, 21 and 1. Corner Cruz calling for the left hook. There's a left hook to the body by Isaac Cruz. Nice left hook. Connecting by Isaac Cruz. Backpedaling is Romero. Romero could be in trouble. He ate a big left hook on the chin, and I still don't think he's recovered from it. And Cruz going right after Romero. Pounding away, but Romero continues to hold even after Harvey Dock gets in there. We're like three or four seconds later, and Romero was holding. Cruz is gaining more offense, and Romero continues to hold, and is literally in survival mode. He's doing whatever he can to remain upright, because it is clear that he has, and is um, aware of the power of Cruz. Cruz looking to unload. I love watching this on Cruz fight, because this guy is so aggressive, but it's not a a careless aggression. He's a tactical, aggressive fighter and cerebral in many aspects, but he's technical. He uses good head movements, tight guard, unload, but he hammers you. It's just like getting hit by an anvil. Isaac Cruz is just very cerebral, like surgical, like in his demeanor. He's in a seeking and strike mode. And now Romero complaining about an accidental headbutt. When are the Oscars? May? Because he deserves it. And I'm sure that that's awful. But some of the acting that um, Romero has been doing is worthy of an Oscar winning performance. That's just my opinion. And that ends the fourth. Relax, relax. And a series of left hooks by Zach Cruz. Bang to the body. Shot to the body again. And there's that left hook upstairs, certainly catching the attention of Matias Romero. Watch the body. Duck underneath, attack the body. Okay? 
No te entregues. No, no. Nada, Mac. Mix it up on the inside. Está calmando. Come on, coach. 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 Come on
Romero in serious trouble. He's literally just trying to keep his vertical base because he's in deep trouble. As much as he's ran around the ring, he's probably over a couple of miles already. How much engagement coming from Matias Romero? There's a one-two by Romero. No, 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 no. Keep it fine, keep it fine. Get up. Step back, step back. 100 seconds to go here in the sixth. Cruz with that left hook and he's warning about below the bell. Time, time. Oh boy, here we go. I got it, I got it. Come on, come on, come on. One point. One point. A one point deduction one point. by Isaac Cruz I got you. from Keep Harvey Dock. And you got a point. I mean, I mean, it, it's unfortunate. But to me, it would appear that Romero doesn't want to engage. It takes two to tango. And Romero, I'm sure that hurts. Don't get me wrong. But he's been tying up the body. He hasn't really been doing much of fighting or boxing for that. Cruz is the one initiating the exchanges. There's a right. Left hook to the body and Romero ties up. I would love to see punch that numbers and see what the disparity is between the two. Under a minute left here in the sixth. There's a left hook connecting by Isaac Cruz. A left hook on the button there by Cruz. There's a left hook there by Isaac Cruz, final moments of the sixth. Let him go, let him go. We appreciate you joining us in our main event, David Benavides, Ronald Ellis. A lot of running being done by Romero and a lot of holding. That ends the sixth. There's that shot below the bell. Score minus one. Deducted low the blow. point. It was a low blow. Nice job. Round seven, this one's scheduled for 12 between Isaac Cruz and Matias Romero. Romero's been doing a lot of running and holding. And at this point, if you're Harvey Doc, when are you going to think about deducting the point due to the holding? Because that's been excessive holding, in my estimation, from Matias Romero. Nice combination there by Romero. But Cruz will to oblige and fire back. Keep your head up. Harvey Doc telling Romero to keep his head up. There's a left hook there by Cruz, followed by right to the body. Cruz, you got to unload at short distance here. 
Couple shots to the body, tying up again. Right upper cut there by Cruz. Left hook to the body. And again, he ducks underneath, does Romero, and he ties up. It's like, my goodness. These guys, I mean, Cruz isn't able to throw whatsoever because it's just been a holding fest. Get away from point, just over the midway point of the seventh. And see, here's where I'm going to get on my soapbox and start to criticize the referee. At one point, do you start to criticize the opponent for holding? Keep your head up. It has been ridiculous in the amount of holding that Romero has done that it would warrant at least a warning. He's literally holding the left glove of Cruz, not allowing him to throw. He's ducking underneath. And it's like, yeah, when you duck underneath, of course you're going to get hit behind the head because you are not remaining upright. Look at this. He eats a left hook. It's almost like Romero is resigned to the fact that he's going to lose. And in the back of Romero is ready, and that's not because Cruz is actively looking to throw upon the target of the back. It's because Romero ducks underneath, he's tying up in excessive amounts. This is just ridiculous. Probably one of the worst holding that I've ever seen in my years around this sport. And that ends the set. Ya tú lo ves, eso ya está en cámara lenta. Eso ya está en cámara lenta. Y tú haciendo todo eso, 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 esto para abajo. No hagas eso. Don't do that. Papá, usa la mano de adelante. Usa el mundo y la mano de abajo. Para tu defensa, que hace de paradiso. Y tapa que así, no me da que la cabeza. Tú estás en tu mano como la trabajas. Son los distintos que no trabajas. ¿Sale? Respira fuerte. Respira. Fuerte, jala fuerte. Round 8, this one is scheduled for 12. This is an eliminator fight in the lightweight division. Left hook to the body by Cruz. Now Cruz. Right back on. Right watch the holding. And now Harvey Dock finally says, Watch the holding. Well, that should have been a thing. He hit a left hook by Cruz. Cruz with an overhand right, connected upon Romero. There's a right, chopping right hand by Cruz. Just over a minute has elapsed here in the eighth. Left hook to the body there by Cruz. On the middle. I think Isan Cruz can certainly be a force to be reckoned with here in the lightweight division, but. You, know, you need an adversary that's willing to engage. And Romero has not been doing that, but he's probably boxing the best that he has been, at least 
Well, now there, here comes the holding. As soon as I say that, he starts to hold. The last few rounds, Romero has thrown more, but it's still just insanity with the holding. Ball by the right hand. And going down to the canvas was Romero. As time ticks off the clock. Finally, Harvey Dot gives a stern warning to Romero for excessive hold. Final moments of the eight. And that concludes round number eight. Harvey. Hey, yo, 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 just let's go. You gotta get the car, Joe, man. No more water, no more water on the set. Get up. Listen in and watch some of the action from the eighth. Take the goddamn thing off. Take a look at the uppercut. I'm trying to be patient, baby. Well, that was not an uppercut, so I apologize about that. And that was when Romero went to the canvas. Seconds out. Round nine, this one is scheduled for 12. Unfortunately, because if this was 10, I'd be okay with it. Zach Cruz in total control against Matias Romero. Romero undefeated from Argentina. Been boxing better and he just ate a right uppercut from Cruz. Connected with the right uppercut in short distance. Right to the body by Isaac Cruz. Overhand right there by Cruz. Now ripping away on the body of Romero. Don't knock down, don't knock down. there was Romero has made it has elapsed here in this run. There's a left hook there. Is Isan Cruz. Under a minute to go, and Romero just holding, holding, holding. Combination there by Romero as he sat down. A little shoe shine work there by Romero. There's a nice right hook that landed by Cruz and holding once again is Romero. I'm a Chicago Bears fan in the NFL. That's the football team for the Bears. And Romero's doing more holding than what the Bears offensive line did all year long. And our offensive line was god awful. 
that's how much holding that Romero has done. He would give our offensive tackles a run for their money. And that ends the night. David Benavides on the way, the super middleweight, former super middleweight champion of the world. He's in action next in our main event against Ronald Ellis. We'll actually hear more from David Benavides coming up next. And there is Ronald Ellis who's looking to play spoiler against David Benavides and hand him his first defeat. We are on to round number 10. This one is scheduled for 12. <laughs> It's a right to the body and more holding from Romero. Very rarely do I ever get really disappointed and agitated in watching prize fighters because, I mean, I respect them, but the excessive holding has been pretty ridiculous from Romero. Santa Cruz continues to come forward. There is a left hook by Cruz. But Isaac Cruz likely is boring something ridiculous. Would likely punch his ticket to being a mandatory here at 135. It's a minute has come off the clock here. Cruz dipping down underneath, looking to hammer away upon the body of Romero. There's a left hook connecting upstairs. There's a right by Cruz. And going down, he had his head through the rope, dude. He's on Cruz. 80 seconds left here in the 10th. To the body there by Isaac Cruz. And what do you know, more holding. I'm shocked. Not really. Under a minute left here in the 10th. Left hook to the body there by Cruz. We have 45 seconds to go here in the 10. Under 30 seconds left. Cruz looking to hammer away on Romero. There's an overhand right, followed by a left. Two big punches there by the hard-hitting power puncher from Mexico, Manny Zad Cruz. There's a right by Cruz. And that'll end the 10th. We go to the 11th. Go downstairs, man. Come on, you can, man. Come on, you can, man. No puedes, no quieres ser campeón del mundo. No quieres ser campeón del mundo, no haga caso. Aquí para ser campeón del mundo necesitas chingo de huevos y hacer caso. I want you to show me some stones and listen to me. Para ser campeón del mundo. You want to be world champion? 
Necesitamos que cierre. No le dejes la iniciativa, por favor. Le estás dejando la iniciativa que te tira los golpes. El referee nunca le va a dar. And a nice one, two. There's an overhand right followed by a left over the top there by... Seconds out. Seconds out. Of Isaac Cruz not happy with the fact that Cruz is not listening to them. They want him to be more aggressive and you know, follow their instructions. There's a nice echoing right hand by Isaac Cruz. Cruz. I'm going to pick up the pace here in the 11th. There's a right to the body by Romero. Chopping right hand by Cruz. And that's what I'm, I, I kind of like what Cruz just did there in the sense that he charged forward, he stepped back, then he went right back at him. That's what you have to do. When it comes to fighting, Romero wants to tie up all the time. As Romero tries to tie up, take a half step back, then a tie. Dots underneath. Tongue tuck there. Escuchame. Escuchame. Listen to me. Listen to me. Doc's got some pretty good Spanish. Jab there by Romero. Ahí está el volado de arriba hacia abajo. Vamos, 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 para atrás. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Ah. Left hook connecting right on the jaw by Cruz. Under 100 seconds to go here in the 11th. There's a nice right hand by Cruz, catching the attention of Romero. Nice sharp right hand followed by a right uppercut. This is one of the best rounds offensively by Romero. Probably because the fact that Romero is willing to engage. Under a minute to go, you heard the corner of Isaac Cruz. They told him, listen to your father. Final moments on the 11th. Isaac Cruz in control against Matias Romero. That ends the round. One more to go. Eso. Respira, respira. Hondo, hondo. No, no, no. No more water. Necesito. Escucha. Necesito que este es el último round. And there is the beginning of the round. Nice right hand there by Isaac Cruz. Cruz advancing forward. A left hook by Isaac Cruz. Bang, right there on the jaw of Matias Romero. And a right hand connecting. Nice sharp right hand, short, as they like to say in Spanish. Una derecha. Twelfth and final round here at Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino in Uncasville, Connecticut. Twelfth and final round between Isaac Cruz and Matias Romero. Romero is undefeated out of Argentina. Cruz has been unbeaten for the past five years. The winner of this fight will become mandatory. Won the championship. There's an overhand right by Isaac Cruz. 
was a jet ball by right hand there, Bob. Barreling into let him go, let him go. Romero is Cruz. There's a left hook. That blasted Romero. Romero just continues to search forward. Throws big power punches, short power punches. He's had a deal with someone that gives him a lot of fits because of all the posturing. But my goodness. Cruz is to be undeterred here. Seventy seconds to go here in the twelfth and final round. Left hook to the body by Cruz to Romero. More holding by Romero. I do like what I'm seeing though out of Isaac Cruz. I think he could be a force here in the lightweight division. He's a right to the body by Cruz. And let's not forget that Cruz is only 22 years of age. There's a right to the body by Cruz. Final moments. Uh, it has been an intriguing matchup here in the lightweight division. Now the medal wants to stand and trade as the final moments of the fight. And that ends the fight. Both embrace, sign of respect between these two. Zacruz, a left hook to the head right there, boom. And then, as Romero, a left hook to the head, to the body by Cruz. Matias Romero remains upright. Yes, it should be across the board in favor of Isaac Cruz. There is Isaac Cruz who's been unbeaten in five years. Romero likely on his way to the first loss of his professional career. Here's Jim. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Glenn Feldman scores about 114 to 113. Judge at ringside, Kevin Morgan sees it 115 to 112. And Steve Weisfeld scores the action 118 to 109. All three in favor of the winner of the WBA lightweight world title eliminator, Isak. Pitbull Cruz! So here are the score totals. Glenn Feldman, 114, 113. What was he watching? Morgan, 115, 112. Weisfeld, 118, 109. I agree with Weisfeld. The other two, ridiculous, but at least the right man won in the Isaac Cruz. Thankfully, unanimous decision.